Welcome everybody, Drake Hawkins with you again, and today we're going to be playing some Tribes of Midgard. This is the open beta 3, the last one before the final, or I guess public release of it. So, uh, I have a fantastic guest star with me today. Hello, hello, Elijah Hawkins here. This is my son, and we are going to be playing some Tribes of Midgard. If you guys see our games on, you're welcome to join at any time. The game is on today and tomorrow. I'll try to get these up. I'll try to get one episode up before it's done being in uh, the open beta so a few of you if you see it and you haven't seen the live streams can get a bite of it uh, do be aware again very open beta early access not even you know it's free to play right now for a couple days so people can have a look at it and give their feedback um, how to play you can have a look through that on your own time but we have a character builder here you get to do fantastic beautiful Nordic uh, dudes uh, and ladies and uh, you get some different uh, various things that, that you can do. The voice lines, their mm -hmm. emotes and whatnot. Hey, hey. whoa. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, other than that, there's also actually one more thing up here. The blessings, these are like your skill tree, basically. Uh, what are you taking? Um, for skills, I am taking the uh, Warden. The Warden. Okay, so, so this I have... is... The Sword Mastery 1, Sword Mastery 2, as well as Thunder, Mast uh, Thunder Embrace 1, and the Healthings. Um, the Healthings. Ah, increased and damage. Two. And 2, okay. Yeah. So, uh, Healthings are the nightly spawn of evil, and uh, that comes at you every, uh, well, every night. Uh, you'll see as we get into this, let's go ahead and uh, start up a new game. There's two, or three options, rather. Uh, we're going to be going with Lone Saga, but each of these is kind of a progression based on both the difficulty that the map throws at you, the size sort of thing of the map, and the um, difficulty of the ma bad bosses that come. Yeah. Uh, conversely, or as you go up, so there's Lone Saga, it's uh, designed for the smaller solo or two to three player, Grand Saga, Grand Saga the four to six, and the Heroic. Each of them has an increase in the number of uh, in the amount of loot that you get, or decrease rather, as they go up in the amount of loot. Uh, increase in the amount of XP you gain, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, so one times XP, one and a half, and two. Uh, conversely, the actual souls is one and a half here, one and 0.75. Uh, and the bad guys happen a lot worse, a lot faster, and a lot nastier. You can also adjust the uh, number of players in the world. I think all the worlds are maxed out at 10. So we've got it set for 10. Lone Saga was, should only have a few. So I'm going to drop it maybe to five in case we get some weird things going on for this play. But we're going to play to see how far we can go. Let's name it, uh, let's name it Clan Hawkins, shall we? I already had Drake Hawkins world typed out in the filter. Oh, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so we join, the, hit the join world. Now this game, uh, I don't know how, if this is going to persist indefinitely but these are cloud-based games so uh or saves and uh sort of world so i'm starting a game it loads it, uh, it's it's as far as we can tell so far um again more information to come but at the current pre state this seems to be an early access uh thing that they have random generated worlds and it's cloud-based so when we load log in if we start playing the game and then we quit the game and want to come back later as long as nobody's in that game currently we can uh we can access the uh it pauses and we can come back into it so uh, i'm gonna skip through the uh the well well let's let her do her talk okay you can go ahead and start gathering some basics um in the game but we'll let her do her talk if she's not too laggy we'll see there's a there's a, a cut scene here spend some time with the shrines in your vi shrine in your village you may be surprised where it takes you. Um, some time with it? Wait a second. Can you just stand there and get it to spawn you somewhere? I don't think so. At the birth of the Nine Realms, the gods gathered totally seeds from Yggdrasil and planted right. them across Midgard to protect themselves. Villages of humans began to settle around these seeds, benefiting from their powers and guarding them for centuries to come. But not all realms were pleased by the gods' control. Creatures began preying upon the seeds, lurking in the shadows of humans. 
The forces of chaos are now marching on Midgard, setting in motion the destruction foretold by the legends. Prepared to die a glorious death together to protect their homes, the humans stand their ground. Ragnarok has begun. Ragnarok has begun. That's the only line in it that she says that isn't quite perfect for voice for it. I, I love the voice for it, but the Ragnarok has come should be much more beastly sounding. Uh, this village hosts one of the seeds of Yd Yggdrasil, uh, the sacred tree. If it dies, the region, this region of Midgard, Midgard will collapse. Game over. Legit. You, you, it's a world wipe the moment you lose your tree. So uh, a little bit roguelike in that, but your characters are not. They just keep respawning. Explore the world to collect resources and uncover treasures. Bring back materials for crafting and souls to feed the tree. Health bar up in the top right of the tree. The number of days. This is the calendar. It's already half a day through. That's terrible. Uh, we can spend seeds that we get to uh, revive the tree. Um, each night, hell things will invade the village uh, to consume the seed. As winter comes, they will become more numerous and dangerous. I didn't catch that part before. Uh, sometimes a Jutan will enter Midgard and to destroy the seed. They're crazy huge. This is not big enough of a depiction. They're massive. Follow the red arrow on the compass to stop them. Uh, not displayed in Heroic Saga. Just FYI. It's, uh, it's a bit tough. Uh, so, we, uh, we're a little uh, borderline naked dude here. And we're running around. How you doing on your end? Um, I am good. If you look at your map. Uh, map. You're way up north. I am You're way great, great. up north. Uh, you, you basically can gather... What, what do we need? Flint and sticks. There's your sticks right here. Uh, you, as you, like, stand over stuff, it'll, uh, it'll indicate what uh, F to gra gather things. Also, interestingly enough, this game is designed to be both uh, PC and console based. Ah, I got four wolves chasing me. Punch them. Punch them hard. That's literally your took, only weapon. I already took care of two melee guys. Nice. Or two archers, actually. Sorry. Uh, there is... Basically, I need sticks. That's what I'm going to be gathering that. first. Uh, sticks and flint. And that lets me go into town here. Ow. <laughs> you dead. You dead, boy. Ow. Uh, no, I'm not going to help. <laughs> you can just respawn. I wouldn't make it up there anyways. Uh, so this is town. This is our beautiful uh, tree. Uh, if you can see, the health bar of the tree starts out not quite full. Uh, it's indicated by this blue up top, as well as the lights around the outside. There we go. Just about full. Not quite, actually. An quite archer. a bit to fill it up. An archer pegged me off. Uh -oh. um, so we can gather various materials. Wool, leather... Uh, there's all sorts of things that you get. Uh, silk, hey, cloth, Sam. and also she, this is the armor. She'll make uh, fancy armor for us, uh, or very basic armor to start. This is the first guy you want to find, the blacksmith. He can make the basic pickaxe. Uh, it's just that one first. And then uh, as soon as you can, go ahead and get a wooden axe. I'm a little short on stone. Now, I don't have an, a weapon in my hand. It's because that is, if I hit uh, my inventory button, I think it defaults as I. Uh, there's materials up here. That's a separate page. You can have four pages worth of materials. Consumables is your potions. You can only hold three at any given time. And then there's your equipment. Uh, a and D to kind of pan back through them. Weapons, armor, shields, and tools. Your tools lets you uh, harvest from trees and rocks and ore and the like. Uh, we are nearing day, uh, night time here. We're about to hit the first night. And Trey Zombie, welcome Trey Zombie, has just joined our game. See, it's a public access game, so people can join in. Uh, and frequently they will. You just uh, go ahead and make a world and somebody's going to appear because they can see, I think they can see how long the game has been going and stuff. So is that the case? Do you get to see? I am not entirely sure, but uh, that would explain things. Yeah, I think that's the case. Well, maybe. Uh, I need uh, more sticks and more flint to get the other tool and then i need to find some stone that would be lovely because i i wanted to use axe i've uh, specced towards uh, hammers and axes um the hammer uh not hammers i guess fisticuffs this dude punches hard 
Do you know if there's any iron nearby? <laughs> I've not seen anything nearby. No, I've got. There's I don't have my axe yet. Hmm. I have enough iron now. Nice. To go make a sword. Ah, defend the village. Forgot about that. That's kind of the point, right? Kinda. Run unless I find a rock, and then I'll stop for it. There's uh, these purple death things, hell things, actually, they're called, that are going to spawn at night outside the village. And there's actually one coming in the south gate right now. You got it? You getting them? We're just going to go show you fighting, because we're going to go punch some things. It's after my tree! Get off my tree! Oh, it's not there yet. Yes, it is. Wow, he's tougher than me. Something to do with a uh, whole weapon concept. Kick him in the face! Ooh. Oh, yeah! Oops, kicked him. But it doesn't do friendly fire, which is fortunate, because that would be terrible. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, more tools. I want a wood uh, wood cutting axe. I'd like another pickaxe. And the tribe has, has survived. Yay! I want to carry around two, generally two pickaxes and two uh, wooden axes at all times, because the... Uh, um, resource gathering is like the entire point. You gotta absolutely crank crank out as much resource as you can and run them back to base. See, chop. Uh, it takes 400 lo uh, wood and I think 50 iron and how much stone? 100. 100 stone, 90 stone, something like. Anyways, tons of resources for each of the gate gates. We can actually upgrade the gates to defend better. They'll basically be a, an extra line of defense. I'm gonna punch you and I kick you in the face. Uh, so if you see what, how my dude is facing, my cursor here, the direction that thing face. Ouch. The direction that thing faces is the direction that you'll punch, or kick, or slash, or whatever. I need stone, like really badly. I haven't seen a single thing of stone yet. I have a total of four. That's four. A million times more than I have. Bones and souls. Everything you gather and harvest make, gives you souls. Like, literally everything. I chop down a tree, I get some souls. I pick up a stick, I get some souls. I kill somebody, I get a bunch of souls. I, I kill this guy. Oh, I get punched, smashed by this guy with his darn weapons. Oh, I'm gonna die. Ozymandias. Ozymandias? Uh, isn't that like the, the everything is, oh, no, this is how I die, this is how I die. Uh, nice crawl knowing. away, nice knowing you. crawl away. No, don't shoot me when I'm down, you jerk. Will he, will he leave me? He might. <laughs> not going to get away. Uh, you see the purple health on the top left? That is my, uh. Man, uh, no, my life force, it's dying off. Trey Zombie is showing on my screen, but he's not here. So, yes, yeah, so you can't do anything except for just crawl away and hope that somebody comes. If At this point, if somebody came near, they'd be able to save me. Or I could just hold F and respawn. But you lose all the souls you had gathered when you die. Which sucks. <laughs> all right. That was unfortunate. Um, in this particular mode, I keep everything I have. In the anything higher in the game modes, any of the higher game modes, you actually it's Ozymandias, not Ozymandias. Okay, just saying. Um, <laughs> welcome, guys. Any uh, any of the higher levels of the gameplay, you actually drop your materials, not potions, not tools, just your materials. So if you gather stone, you gather sticks, but you lose those in between. Stone! Stone! Lovely. Three stone! Man, I'm rich. I think I only need two for my weapon. I should go right back home. But I'm greedy, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> so, what do you need fur and leather for? Um. Clothing? Weapons? Armor? I'm thinking. I don't recall. They're all weird recipes, like certain things you'd think need a specific resource and don't always. So. Ow. 
didn't realize it, but this archer has been pelting me, pelting me for like a while. <laughs> Stinging you? Ah. Doesn't hurt that much, or what? You're just too tough? Of course. <laughs> Alright, so I am hopefully going to have enough materials here to gather, or to build my weapon Worked of choice. On level one Ash Beach. Nice. Uh, there's tons of biomes all over the map. Well, at least like five or six of them. Um, hey, you know, let's see. Uh, that, don't do that. I need the axe. That is two stone and nine wood. I have 50, uh, 43 wood and two, uh, three stone. I'm not going to get anything more at this point. I need raw powder and some... If anybody finds raw powder, that would be stellar. Uh, I also want to have a shield. It takes wood and something, wood and iron. And I'm going to actually double up on that. So I've got the extras when I need them. And the weapon, I just need one more stone to, to, to get my second weapon. Oh, I didn't check my tools. I always like to... Every time I'm back in town, I like to grab another... Uh, an upgrade for those. Uh, next thing will be to come down and get this lovely lady here to we gear me up. Nice uh, you can basically start on the right. We need wool and leather for the boots. The trousers, the pants need wool and leather. Help. All of the other ones need like specialized items and they have all sorts of bonuses. Bonus to po or defenses to poisons and fires and frosts and all sorts of things. The basic ones are fairly weak. Oh, there you go. I can craft ah, the standard gloves. Yeah. Got a wall chasing me again, and oh, I literally handsome. have one health. Oh, two health, maybe. Maybe two <laughs> health. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I mean, that's terrible. Oh, thanks. <laughs> just, just the amount of times you can just squeak by is disturbing. Let's gather everything we can here. Uh, mostly because it gives souls and our tree is not fully charged yet, and it needs to be. Well, Trey Zombie has left the world. Well, bye, Trey. Assuming you I like can survive. survive. <laughs> Hell things. Uh, so if you look at the top right of the map, you're going to see the... I'll keep talking in a moment. All right, in the top right of the map, there is the... Uh, um... What do you call it? The, the sundial sort of thing. And that uh, is indicating the... Um, the orange indicates the, I guess, the time bef the dawn, dusk rather. And then uh, at, when night falls into the blue, that's when the uh, hell things spawn and charge after you. So. Oh, hurry oh, up. oh thanks. Sorry. Thanks for sharing. I'm going to get there just in time for it to puff out. I didn't even get a hit. Ah. So this is a two-minute cooldown, and anybody in the world, it's all about cooperation this game, so anybody in the world, thanks for you know, letting me know, yep. uh, anybody in the world can I, use it. I pinged, it. okay. That doesn't help me. Uh, once it's uh, activated, it heals everybody in that proximity. And big swashes, uh, sw swerves, swaves, waves of healing. And uh, can I just stand here and fast travel for a while? Can I just choose a shrine to fast travel to? Well, I can't. There's no shrines to fast travel to. It said it indicated that maybe I could just stand there and get some cool information, but I don't think that's true. <laughs> Boom! Smashed him. Bring it on, purple guys. I don't think there is a chat system, is there? No, I was trying to figure that out. I don't think there is. I was going to let him know. Try to survive another day. So yeah, the uh, the dark blue. The, 801 uh, souls. Give me 801, nice. Right, we're not full even yet. Um, that would have been 801 less if I would have uh, yes. not came up with 2 HP. <laughs> The uh, the night thing gets wider as the days go by. I don't know if it's every day or after every five or what it is, but it most definitely gets uh, bigger, and the nasties that come at you get much worse. You'll see as we go, or if we survive long enough for you to see. <laughs> Let's make some armor before heading out. 
These things are hard to catch. Surprise! Or you can use your right sp mouse button. Uh, that's a thing. This the the game has uh, mana basically bottom corner there. I'm just holding left shift to keep my shield up to block this guy. Any standard arrow shot should be blocked. Oh, he's a he's a he's a quick little bugger. Yeah. Owned him. Uh, health is pretty uh, pretty important early on. Like you get heal, you get uh, armor, you get potions later. Um, oh yeah, potions. But uh, oh nice. But it's pretty it's pretty easy to die early on. I'm trying to gather stuff here, but. Need to be running into corners of the map. I'm actually trying to get out of this um, region. Do you have any mead spices? Hey, look, mead spice? spices. You just picked some up. Nice. Yeah. For what? Um, for the level two health potion. Nutty Twitchy, welcome to the channel. <laughs> welcome to the game, anyways. Probably doesn't have a clue that he's playing with a uh, with somebody who's recording, but um, they're for potions. Area. No, I will head back that way. Okay, I'll just get um, basic potion instead. Oh, that's the second tier potion? Yeah. Yeah. Because I have, I have two, sec two tier twos and the tier one. Okay. Um, the icon on my map there, this... Uh, fire pit thing that is a nasty it's an enemy camp frequently quite tough and I have no armor uh, nice no damage taken there I didn't think I took very much it looked like it didn't take much and then now I'm second guessing whether or not I got my butt kicked because I seem to have lost some health, but I don't know. Gonna rush, gonna try to get home without dying. I'm just wandering south, and I thought it was gonna loop me back around, but apparently not. Apparently it's a horrible, horrible, evil place. Stop shooting me with your stupid arrows. No, no, the wolf is locking my target. Oh. You see that? The wolf got my got had my guy locking my air, my boat my shield. The wolf you can't block the wolf's attack with a shield. But you can uh, block the you arrows. You can reduce the damage, I think. Maybe, but you can definitely not reduce the damage of the arrows coming in at you when you keep facing your back to the dude and oops. <laughs> So when you put up shield, it'll block directionally to whoever your uh, whoever's basically your target. And the wolf got in closer, he became the target, and then my dude just basically forgot that he was getting shot in the side of the face with arrows, and uh, was a little low on health. So, by a little, I mean a lot low on health. Uh, I went another axe. Anybody got raw powder? That Anybody? takes killing the level two blue guys. Anybody put raw powder in the in the pot yet? No, just flint. Mm. I'm on my way okay. to go get blue guys, but yeah. So let's see if we can get if I can get out a little further, further afield. Uh, I might cut these up into uh, multiple uh, episodes if uh, we last that long. It's looking like we can probably get 25, 30 minutes in and. I'll just cut out and go for a to be continued when that happens. And then you can come back in for another episode. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Just record all night. Just record all night long. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing has uh, uh, the time, basically, you run out of time in one day. <laughs> so we get, to, we get to play till 
the end of Sunday night, and then uh, then the game is uh, the game and the record of all our characters and everything is wiped until uh, until the next release. And the next one is going to be on Steam. So Steam early access should be uh, beginning of 2020. I'm not sure if it's right at the beginning or when they're putting it out, but I'll try to inform people in a pinned comment at some point if, uh, if I find out. If I get any inside scoopy doo. Pine cones? Why am I collecting pine cones? What are they for? Pine cones are awesome. I mean, yeah, I guess. Alright, let's head back to map. To, to map. To base. The question is, why not collect pine cones? Group up? Oozy says group up. We better group up. You heard the ooze. All hail the ooze. Wait. He sounds like he's one of them. The first O silent is Osmandia. <laughs> I know. <laughs> More fun to call him Oozmandius, though. <laughs> okay, let's call him Oozmandius. Oozymandius. Wait, was that group up saying, hey, here's the heal? No, it wasn't. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Call the group. He's right there. Anyway, I don't need it, so. Okay. I really, really want this new shield. Say, say. New shield? Yeah. You found vines? No, I said I want the new shield. They had it. <laughs> Nutty! Welcome, Nutty. Didn't notice you before. Who's he? Kill him! Smash him! Knock him dead! Oh, yeah! I got fingernails! Mmm, tasty. Yeah, Nutty still has uh, bare fists. Mm hmm, just spawned recently. Tribe has survived another day! Uh, almost level 7. Uh, these levels are the blessings there. That's the uh, s leveling up uh, feature in the game, and it's very um, slow progression. And we've played a number of hours, and I'm almost level 7. Many hours. Probably, what, 7, 8, 9 hours of play? Um, again, mostly learning the game as we went, but yeah, and I just hit level six, so. Yeah. Which I haven't been playing. We played about three, four hours, maybe five. And uh, yeah, so he's he's leveling faster. There's a lot of learning curve. Hmm. I'm north. Oh. I'm, I'm uh, squarely mm -hmm. blue thing. Yep. In your mini -map. This really button spammy blue thing. I'm headed that way. Why am I joining you? The Ash place. Ah, for bad guys. For tougher bad guys. Uh, we we are at the beginning ish of the day, so um, the game is very much requires uh, at least the higher level game like maps. Really requires you to have a team that some of you go adventuring and. And stuff while the others defend, sort of thing. Deal. Um, are we mining? Um, no, I'm taking on three blue guys. Oh, okay. That's awkward. <laughs> nope. My dude's not going to turn around. There we go. He was, uh, I was, I was locked to the wrong guy again. To the left, okay. Oh man, I couldn't get in line to attack him. I'm just too fast for you. Well, you were just body blocking me. You were physically in the way. Yeah. See? You guys, you guys in the way, so you can't, oh. they, they collide. Right, they can't. We can't be standing in the same spot. So you're swinging and bumping into me, so I couldn't actually hit him half the time. Oh, he keeps bumping me out of the way. Oh. I don't know why, but your guys oh. just 
What did you just do? Uh, used the health potion. Oh. Accidentally. Yeah, your guy just physically pushes me out of the way every time. Not sure why we were both we were both standing and swinging towards it, but probably a server-based balancey thing. But why? What? I just lost all my armor. Hmm. Maybe I didn't have any. <laughs> it's possible. Yeah, the collision is is uh, not quite. Hey, camp up here. You want to help me take it? Uh, I'm still collecting stuff. I need some of that seaweed for sure for potions because I'm potionless. But yes, I'll be up there shortly. Grab mushrooms. Get the rest of the jazz on the way. I have no potions, so I'm pretty diable yeah, at this point. Uh, we don't forget about half a day in here. Shall we see what we can grab from this camp of theirs? Nice to find the, the rock around. Lots of stone. Oh, there's the camp. Chest. There is a chest. Oh, can you get that um, archer? Oh crap! <laughs> did I just? I think I just detonated something. Did it kill you? Uh, Almost. <laughs> Almost. Thankfully, there was a potion in that chest. Yeah. I just, I just went in and didn't realize there was something there, and I don't know what I did. Maybe I hit it. Yeah, you hit <laughs> it. It just blew. <laughs> Whoopsies. It's like a landmine or something. I might have just stepped on it. You went in the other entrance, I came around. I think you hit Hey, well, we got that cleared. Uh, so the chest, what was in it? Um, recovery potions and something else. Okay. Something else. We'll go with something else. Uh, yeah. Some <laughs> pow filtered powder, I think. All right, well, I'm going to head back to camp, and we'll uh, put in a cut here and be back uh, shortly for another episode. You guys can uh, check it out in the playlist. We'll see what we can get done today in a... Uh, Hey, hey dudes, back off. Stop shooting me. Alright, well, he's not worth the fight right now. Alright, I'm going to put in a cut. We'll be back uh, in the next episode. We'll see you in game.